So when I asked you, Dr. Pavey, what's the most important thing you want to bring out? You said you're on your own. Explain that to us. Oh, well, I, if there is one message that I wanted to, to provide is that we do need to be proactive for our own health. We can't put the responsibility of our optimal health in someone else's hands. Now, of course, there are people there to help, but ultimately, our health is our destiny. So um, there are quite a few different things that people can do proactively, uh, maybe looking for like a functional medicine doctor, um, a naturopathic doctor, uh, maybe consulting with their doctor of chiropractic. Um, there are some really great people out there who can help you know, kind of navigate this very complex world. Um, but in terms of one of the mechanisms that we need to be aware of when we're looking at um, um, supporting our immune system, especially in the realm of things that are new in the environment, we have a, a, a grouping of immune cells called T cells or naive T cells. These are the blank slate cells that are ready to be programmed when something new comes into the environment. Uh, so then they can start making those specific antibodies. So one of the things that happens as we age is our naive T cell population starts to decline, which kind of makes sense because when we're born, we have the most amount of naive T cells that we're going to have because we haven't yet been exposed to lots of things in the environment. But as we keep being exposed to things, um, as we go chronologically through time, those naive T cells start to get used up. So what we want to do uh, in, the ter in terms of you know, preparing our bodies for something new, we want to support those naive T cell populations. And one uh, ingredient that can help to do so is called cystanch tubulosa which especially if it's standardized to the echinacocytes, which are those phytonutrients uh, that concentrate in that particular plant. Um, the Sistanch plant variety is also known as ginseng of the desert. So it is in that ginseng type of category. Right, right. But we do have some good clinical data for helping to support those naive T cell populations. 